Well, concern is uh, certainly how do we deal with uh, numerous inmates that are sick from the virus? How do we keep it from spreading throughout the entire jail? How do I keep my staff healthy? Because uh, there's an issue if all my deputies happen to get the virus at the same time or a large percentage of them get it, how do we deal with that? How does that, what does that look like? Uh, and certainly it's not going to be just Wood County having that issue. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of other places having the same issue. It's not like I can send my deputies somewhere else. Unless it happens in waves, then we could do that. So those are the types of discussions that sheriffs are having of, okay, what happens if someone gets hit worse than someone else? So we're working on that, obviously really stressing the hygiene of washing the hands all the time, uh, keeping distance, not touching the face. Uh, that's huge. But again, I think a majority of us are going to be exposed to this virus. We're just hoping that uh, it doesn't last long or maybe with weather being better. I'm, I'm always an optimist. People outside, usually the flu goes away in the spring. Maybe, I don't know. Will it back off a little bit as people go outside more and more? We're, we're, we're having good weather coming soon. We have the ability for all the hygiene, but ha making inmates do it, we can't make them do that. So uh, certainly concerned about the health of, of the inmates, uh, and it is what it is. We'll deal with it, and certainly working with the health of the deputies to make sure uh, we're, we have enough staff to do what we have to do in the jail and throughout the entire office. I mean, it's not just the jail. It's all the other duties and responsibilities that the office has. We have to do it. We will do it, and we just have to come up with various contingency plans to uh, figure out if A happens, what do we do? If B happens, what do we do? Plan for the worst, hope for the best.